eligible premises in North East Bedfordshire can also receive gigabit capable connections through the broadband voucher scheme. And I would very much uh, like to meet with him to talk to him about this and with my honourable friend. And it's not possible for network builders and telecoms providers to deliver everything at once. Richard Fuller. My right honourable friend is absolutely right about the government's commitment, but as my constituency neighbour, she will know that in parts of North East Bedfordshire, gigaband coverage is already well below the national average. There are plans to increase it, uh, but can I ask and request a meeting with her or the minister directly responsible to discuss those rural areas just outside major urban areas or towns, but not in the most remote districts, that seem to be being missed by current plans? Well, Mr Speaker, I declare an interest. My honourable friend is not only my constituency neighbour, but due to various boundary changes over the years, we, we actually swapped various parts of our constituency. And so I feel like we're joint members of some parts of our constituencies. So um, I'd like to reassure him that the pre any premises in his constituency that are not included in the commercial providers plan will be eligible for a gigabit capable subsidy through Project Gigabit. And the Project Gigabit procurement covering North East Bedfordshire is due to start by October this year with a contract in, contract in place by September 2023. Eligible premises in North East Bedfordshire can also receive gigabit capable connections through the broadband voucher scheme. And I would very much uh, like to meet with him to talk to him about this and with my honourable friend. Dr. Rupa Hutt. Digital exclusion is not just a rural phenomenon when, in parts of Ealing Broadway, despite the road being dug up and cable laid, businesses report cripplingly slow times to send an email or download attachments, you know, just basic stuff like running water and electricity in, these, in this day and age. And, you know, don't get me started on people working from home north of the A40. Can the minister please give us a date when all of my constituents are levelled up internet-wise? And if not, why doesn't she come with me and see, come and speak to these businesses and homes so yeah. we can hurry it along? Seriously. So, uh, Mr Speaker, what I'd like to say is that, um, you know, we were never going to go from zero to 100 per cent overnight. It's always, it's always been a rollout programme, and it is a huge infrastructure investment project. And it's not possible for network builders and telecoms providers to deliver everything at once. <coughs> so, you know, priority is given to where the need is greatest, and that includes businesses that she mentions and, and hard, those hard to reach communities. But I will, take, I will take her constituency concerns away with me and raise them with BDUK and get back to her as soon as I can with a response.